right, guys, welcome to the 27th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, got Jay here with me. You already know how to fuck with rocking. We're back with another episode, man. Yeah, we man. appreciate everybody that's been rocking, everybody that's yeah. been liking, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff, man. Continue to do that. But, um,. But yeah, man, today we're smoking on some good shit, bro. I'm smoking on some motherfucking Sunset, bro, some Top Shelf. What y'all boys smoking on? I'm smoking on some, I don't know, Purple Punch. Purple Punch? Purple Punch over there. What you got, Marvin? Nah, I'm smoking on some fucking, uh, whatever you call it. Some, what you might call it? You know salad. what I mean? Some salad. It's a salad. salad. It's a mixture. You know what I mean? It's a mixture. Put it in the bowl and mix it up. Mix it, mix it. But it's yeah, like man, that. we're back with another episode, so, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out of the day. We're gonna go ahead and get into shout out of the day today. We're shouting out the asshole that started this coronavirus bullshit. Fucking so, asshole. Shout out to you, guy. Fuck you. Look, we all know that coronavirus is fucking bullshit. What's the real agenda? What's the real agenda? What are they trying to keep us from fucking seeing? Facts. That's the real question. Distraction. This is. A yeah, bro. That's exactly this is a what it distraction. is. I don't. I'm not buying it. Coronavirus, you know what, bro? Coronavirus needs to be scared of me. <laughs> Show them guns, bro. Yo, Show the guns. I put, I put them away today oh, because yeah, coronavirus is out. Yeah, facts. facts. Damn. it would be too scared. That's too crazy. Scared. That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, man, that coronavirus bullshit, bro. I'm not. I, people are overhyping this. Y'all need to calm the fuck down that like civilized human beings. Like, what the fuck, bro? Y'all killing yourself. The media's hyping this shit. You see the, the, the fucking, right? They say that all across America, shelves are empty. Yeah, right here in Central Florida, the shelves are stocked. And every yeah, fucking Sam's straight. Club. And so, you know, the media is just trying to cause worry, bro. Nah, but it is affecting certain shit, though, too. Well, it's definitely affecting money. money. Yeah, a lot of places are giving money. up a lot of money. The mm-hmm. NBA did that bullshit. You know how much it's going to cost them? That's bullshit. A lot, bro. You know what? Uh, I, I think it's bullshit. I think we're all pussies. You know what I mean? I feel like this. I feel like this generation is trash. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's start pod. I don't know. It's just because look at Magic Johnson, bro. He play with AIDS. You yeah, but AIDS fucking... don't spread through the air, guy. Yeah, but you know you what? You can't breathe it in and get fucking little, be contagious. It's a little bit more deadly. I hear you, but like I said, it don't spread through the air. You gotta fuck the nigga to get the AIDS. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, or get Facts. blood, blood put on you. Or but, say a needle or something. It's blood. It's blood. It's nah, I, I, I agree fluid. with you guys. I agree with you guys. I feel like they're blowing it out of proportion. But mm. I don't think the virus itself is what's gonna cause problems. It's just like the scare of it is causing yes. problems with money. That's it. Like, and yeah, patients that really true. need medication. Because if you think about it, everybody, y'all beating yourselves up. Remember Y2K? All these things that have happened throughout history where people go crazy buying things and stocking up and then you look like a complete idiot Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's true what people are saying that you know there's aids and stuff and other things out there but nobody's wrapping up the jimmy you know what i'm saying people are still going out there and fucking with no protection on and you're worried about coronavirus get the fuck Fuck a coronavirus how about the people who have healed from it i know come on that's crazy because i know somebody that you know will right will just hit me up today and he was just talking about uh how he was joking around at work how his dad got fucking coronavirus and he was joking and somebody fucking took it out of proportion how we we're talking about mm. told the boss and the boss told will he can't come back he to can't work come so back he to proves work. his dad doesn't have coronavirus uh <laughs> got his ass that's fucking fucked up. up he got himself though yeah no nah, you though. did that to yourself yeah well, shout you out to will bro. will yo goat fucker you should have fucking stayed quiet <laughs> goat fucker, we call him goat fucker because he fucked a goat but <laughs> Uh, whatever I'm serious No yeah. No I refuse to believe that I, I don't know what a man does On a spare time bro I wasn't there But allegedly Allegedly That's yeah, what that's happened that's what happened Free my nigga Cosby Yo Cosby's gonna die in jail Cosby's dying in jail Prison Suge Knight's dying in prison Yeah And what's his other name Weinstein just caught 23 years Yo speaking mm. Speaking of dying How about I was looking You know Rod Wade you know Rod Wave? Rod Wave, yeah. Yeah, that dude, he, uh, every time I see a picture of this guy, he's holding up stacks of cash, like a whole bunch of, of cash, right? And it's just like, bro, you're looking like a whole lick, holding all that money all the time in every picture, and you, you're holding up cash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, and then you wonder why you get, like, these artists get run up on. 
Yeah, you know bro. What I'm saying? Like that's a lot of cash, and, and like not not to be like that, but most of your fan base is is hungry. Yeah, they're struggling. Nah, facts. They're poor. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And you're over here just flashing to every picture. Like ain't nobody trying to see that. We know you're successful. We know you're doing your thing. Nobody gives a fuck. Like yeah, you know, it's about yeah, like bro. Like that, a little bit, but that's a trend that I don't I don't know, bro. I don't know when it started, to be honest, but I, I've never, I don't so. like it, bro. I've never done that, personally. I, I don't like it, bro. I don't think that, like, if you got it, you got it, bro. You don't yeah. need to be showing it off. Mm-hmm. Like, real rich people, real wealthy people don't do that. Yeah, exactly. They don't show any, anything off, really. And like, I feel like you're setting yourself up when you do that. Of course, Because then bro. everybody's like, oh, this dude will be rolling around with this much money on him. Yeah, bro. Yeah. And then yeah. a lot of the times these niggas have fake money. A yeah, lot of the times, it's all for clout. Yep, yep. So they use prop money, they use video money, and yeah, it, you know what I'm money. saying. You're you're setting yourself up for failure because niggas really think you got it like that. Yeah, you know don't. what I'm saying. You don't. That's but true. at the end of the day, bro, yeah, like that's that's a, I, I I hope that fad goes away. <laughs> like that's just stupid. For bro. real, bro. Don't be setting yourself up, man. Don't be. People are poor. People are hungry, man. Yeah. Facts. Be humble, bro. Ultimately, that's what it comes down Mate, to. We Being know humble. Your talent, exactly. Bro. We know you got bread. Facts. Stay humble. Facts. Yeah, bro. That's the key. That's it, man. But you know what's stupid, bro? Hmm. Let us know, man. What Fucking, grinds your gears? Yo, the wrong music at the wrong setting, bro. The wrong music in the wrong mother. Bro, I went out to uh, Daytona Beach to go grab a drink with my buddy, right? Right on the beach. And he's like, yo, man, this DJ is awesome, bro. This DJ's popping, bro. We go out there, bro. All I see is some like Duck Dynasty, <laughs> old, Duck Dynasty. dusty ass camouflage no, people. Lying. You lying. Shout yeah. out to all of y'all, by yeah. the way. I love y'all, but you, you know, you were pissed. There was fucking a guy that came out of nowhere. This old guy fucking started walking up to the DJ because he was gonna beat his ass. He's like, I told you to take off that dubstep. <laughs> And, you know, like apparently they all knew each other, and fucking Ricky was fucking laughing. Fucking, he was just like, oh, "Calm down." Is this a real story? No, this really happened. That was crazy, bro. Yeah, I get it. Fucking Mike, I was with Mike, man. Fucking this guy, man. We were out on the beach, man. The wrong setting, bro. It was dubstep playing with old ass fucking he said, seven year olds. Yeah, no, that's thing. like business one on one. Old ass seven year olds. Pissed off. <laughs> got fucking <laughs> Becky over there, fucking looking pissed. He got Samuel, fucking I don't know. His beard was like this big though. He said Doug. He looked like mine Doug. was cool. Mine's pretty big, but his was fucking huge. Like his was like that was Viking right there. Yeah. I was like, God damn. <laughs> Speaking of Viking, I need a fucking Viking beard. I'm gonna get a beard implant. You know that's a real thing. You can. They take hair follicles off from like behind your head and on they your implant ass. them on your. And they know no, nobody, nobody wants, wants ass hair on their the fucking fact, face, pubes Marvin. Pubes on their fucking mouth and shit. That reminds me of Jackass when they put the hair in the fucking. They shave their mm-hmm. balls and then they convince their friends that they were gonna do a stunt by fucking wearing fucking a fake beard. But the oh fake beard was fucking my. ball hair. Yeah, yeah it was oh, all pubes. Yeah. I saw that shit. <laughs> they used to do some disrespectful shit. Shout out to fucking Jackass. That's, they changed the fucking beard. If, if you did that to me, I don't know what I would do. We're not friends. <laughs> At all. Bitch, you put your pubes on my face? Again? You're getting the fucking hands put on you, and we're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real, bro. Yo, that's, uh, Yo. what is that word I'm looking for? Uh, gay! <laughs> 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 no, not for yeah. real, bro. That, that, we're not friends. Mm. But nah, bro, fucking Singapore, dog. Right to the next fucking shit, Singapore. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. Why is that country so... It, supposedly, they're, they're rated like the number one country in the world. That's all I know it's about. It's one of the cleanest countries in the so world. Let us know, Mob. Though. Educate us. Bro, you they even have a gum control. Like, wow. for chewing gum and shit like that. It's crazy. They got filters throughout the city that kind of clean the air and shit. Wait. They wait, also... Wait. They also... It's one of the hardest fucking countries to get, a, like, citizenship. Like... I forgot they eat. Oh, Singapore. <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. fucking, we spelled it wrong, but it's okay, guys. We'll be okay. But yeah, man, it's one of the cleanest fucking countries. I don't know, man. Why can't the U.S. be like that? That's what I want to know. Like, we got all this money. was the most ready for coronavirus than any other country. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's because we'd rather spend our money on guns than fucking tanks. It says Singapore is the model for how to handle coronavirus. Singapore was ready for COVID-19. Other countries take note. What? Yeah. 
I told y'all, bro. They ain't fucking off, bro. They ain't uh, fucking off. I just spilled some fucking beer and well, whatever. I just ashed in my beer. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, guys. Uh, I was lady. talking shit earlier. We fucking litty today, man. Yeah. Yeah, let me tell you something. Um, uh, I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> I don't know about Singapore. What one thing I know is you were ready for coronavirus. Listen, I'm ready for coronavirus. Look, bro. People are healing. People are, who are dying have pre-existing health conditions, have a family history. Come on. Why don't you? Why doesn't the media report all the good news about the people who are getting over it and the people who are not dying from it? Why Thanks. are they just reporting the people that are dying? I know we talked about this, but I was just thinking about it because I'm a, like thinking-ass motherfucker like that. People nah. are easier to control when they're scared, bro. Bro, it's, nah, it's, with, the, bro, it's with the election. I'm telling you, this yeah. election shit. Yeah, bro, all this has got to Facts. tie in. There's a reason for all this, bro. I'm not trying to be mm-hmm. a conspiracy theorist, but I'm going to be a conspiracy theorist. You know what I mean? Let us hear, Mav. Like, Let's hear it. Like, this is what I think. Something's big is going on either with this election and this coronavirus is just to take your attention off of the bigger shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, Trump 2020, don't get me wrong. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Trump 2020 all the way. I don't got my MAGA hat, but I ordered one. <laughs> so. Nah, fuck that. Fuck a Trump so. and fuck a Bernie and fuck everything. Yo, why does everybody hate on Bernie I, lately? Nah, because he's that. a fucking what communist. Happened? What happened? He's a fucking socialist. How you know? Because I know. I've done my research, but he's a son of a bitch. His <laughs> research is what people tell and him. And he's going to croak over by the time he fucking swears in. Okay? Yo, I've seen I agree with that part. I've seen all this. <laughs> I agree with that part. <laughs> Bernie's going to croak before he even gets a chance to pass a law. Bro, just going to have so much stress on him throughout this election. By the time he swears in and he wins, he's not going to believe it. Yeah, I'm going to look up. Why nah, he ain't winning. Man. Nah, but you know who's going to die? I feel like Trump is going to die. I said it first, guys. Yo, I wouldn't say that. Guys, say that. guys. He's not going to die. Don't worry about it. The, Dude, Sims, here, here. the Simpsons. <laughs> Will not fucking lie. I'm telling Yo, look you. Look at what Sanders said. It. Look at it. Look it up. You want to hear some real shit? Sanders says Sanders warns of coronavirus meltdown on par with World War II. Bernie, you are a piece of complete <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> if you're gonna put coronavirus and World War II in the same category, like, yo, my grandpa fought World War II. Like, That's disrespectful fuck as fuck. The, what's the matter with you, Bernie? You know what World War II is? Fucking what? death, real death. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Any war is any, fucking any, crazy. Any hole is is good in a time of war. This guy. Listen, John. <laughs> did, John might have done a real shit talk. <laughs> John might have tried to listen drugs. If you're you gonna fucking it. steal some shit, at least steal it the right way. I thought that's how it went. How does it go? Tell him. <laughs> Any hole is a trench in a time of war. Who told you that? No worry about who told me that. Yo, His grandfather. A grandfather. Yeah. It might have been a father. It might have been an uncle. Who knows? Maybe it was Bibbidi Bobbidi. Bibbidi Bobbidi. Bobbidi Yo, Bernie Sanders is 78 years old. Why is this fucking guy running for president? He's not making it a full term, guys. He's 78, people. I don't talk politics, but look, I don't even know about politics. I'm just Googling this shit as I talk to these fucking guys. And Bernie Sanders seems like a piece of shit. <laughs> Yo, what would you do? I'm going I'm to be honest with y'all. I'm going to change the subject just real quick. What would you do if somebody just banged on that door right now? On the wall. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to start with saying that. that That's a wall. And uh, I'm going to start there. And second of all, if somebody banged on that, I would knock on their door butt naked, oiled up, and be like, you got a fucking problem? You got a problem? You will call the cops. Nah, you want to fucking wild, wrestle me, bro. George? You want to wrestle nah, me? Now we know a guy named George. Nah, I, knew, I know a couple guys named George. <laughs> and a couple of them got proposed to by women. And Ooh. I don't know about this, but... I think it's a subject we need to talk about. I'm you know what I mean? So I know who you're talking about. There's a couple guys out there that got proposed to by women. How do you guys feel about this? I'm going to tell you what. Would you be tell okay me. with your daughter proposing to a man? I'll never be okay with it. Damn. And I'll never have a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. This yeah, nigga yeah. acts like he has a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell I feel you like you nowadays you can. Yeah, if you're fucking stupid rich and you got like 300 million to blow on a baby or some shit. You know what I think? If a girl tries to get on her knee and propose to him, I'm going to just look her in the eye and be like, get the fuck up. 
you get your fucking head thrown. Don't embarrass me out here. Don't embarrass me. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not going to marry you. No. I'm like, you try to embarrass me? Joke's on you now. I feel like you shouldn't get married unless you guys have your own house. Let's make a rule on that. Like you each have your own house? No, no. Like you have your own house as together as a couple. Not living on your <laughs> parents' house. You definitely need to. I feel to like be- that marriage doesn't count. I feel like you guys are still like Have you, you lived dating. separate? It's just a rent. No, you got to live together. Bro, but the thing is you should be living. You should know somebody in and out before you get married. You should know yeah, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's Absolutely. different when you live separate and together. I'm, yeah, I understand that. But I'm talking about when you guys are officially married. And you guys are ready to like have a family and all this shit. Not have fucking three, four, yeah, or five kids. you can't be living with other and people. And then living with your fucking parents, though. Nah. Like, yeah, I don't think that's no, okay. no, 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 nah. no. I completely agree. Yeah. I, I feel like if you have a family, you have a family. Get the fuck out. Yeah. You need to go handle yeah. your being Yeah, facts. Big facts. Like, for real, for real. I feel like, I don't know. I'm not calling no shots, but I feel like you shouldn't be taking no fucking trips, nigga. If you ain't got no fucking house. Yeah, how about this? That makes how about sense, you just bro. don't have any fucking children? Because a lot of people nowadays are having children for no reason. Because they can't even take care of them. That's Why are you having thing. kids? People be like, oh, I'm not going to put my Yo, kid up. Yo, half bro. of the people that have kids can't take care of themselves. Bro. They can barely maintain themselves. I'll but they want to take what. care of themselves and another human being. Speaking of kids. That's fucking what stupid. What do you think of the school system? Let me tell you this. The school system in America, is it needed? Or or does it need change? I believe it does. At the end of the day, my kids are homeschooled. And every Monday, we have a social day where they get to meet. You know, they get to hang out with their friends. And it's like school in a place. Yeah. But every other day, it's just here. And my kids are excelling like this. Like, it's memorization, bro. They're memorizing dates. Boom. They're just showing them all the key things that you need. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel I feel like the the school system is a joke, bro. I feel like kids. it's a giant fucking daycare. They push you through. They don't really give a fuck whether you know what you fuck. You're really learning what you're supposed to learn. They just push you through, bro. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> and Ew, that's it's disgusting. a fucking joke, bro. Like most people, bro. Nine out of ten people don't remember like ninety nine percent of the shit once they leave they high school. You don't even use it. You don't use it, bro. The kids do homeschooling. It's like three hours a day, two and three hours. Not just yep. that, bro. Bro, most of that information in school is false. It's like whitewash, bro. It's not bro, all the truth. Up. It's not the full truth. I can't They're teaching you about Christopher Columbus and how great of a guy he is. Yeah. Like my nigga, the murder. My nigga raped, pillaged the killed, whole country. Yeah, what the fuck bro. are you talking about? He's a great guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, they want you, they want to tell you their history. Exactly. Whatever the fuck they want you to believe. The thing is, bro, the school indoctrinates you with like, yo, you're going to learn all this and then you're going to go out there and then you're going to go find a company and work for somebody and make that person rich as fuck. Facts. And I don't yeah. tell my kids that at all. They, I don't be like, oh, you're going to get a good job when you're older. Bro, that's why so many people yeah, go through sense. school. And then they go to college, and they leave college and feel lost as fuck. Yeah. Because all they've been doing their whole life is whatever they've been told to do. Yeah. They've been That's told true. to go to school. They've been told to go to college. You did that, Kanye and now you're West. feeling lost. Because, bro, that wasn't you. You've yeah. just been following a path that was preset for you. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Do your own thing, bro. If college is for you, cool. College is for you. That's your path. Go do it. But if it's not, it's not. And that's cool. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's, fine. there's plenty of successful people out here that never stepped a foot in college. That's you know what I'm true. saying? Like, yeah. A lot. Especially nowadays, bro. There's there like, are two. There are two. You know, you could be successful and go to college, bro. Exactly. You, you know could fucking I mean? be homeless and, and become successful. Look at Tyler Perry. Yeah. yeah. You but, see what I'm saying? Bro, I'm just saying, statistically speaking, bro, the majority of people that go to college end up in debt and they don't even work in the field that they fucking went to college. Bro, because yeah. you got to think It's about a big college. scam, bro. Yeah. It's when a you huge get out scam. of there, you get out in debt. Look at look at what happened. Like for example, there's a school around here. It's called Full Sail. You go to that school. It's it's eighty thousand dollars to go to that school. Once you leave that school, that doesn't even count as a real, like, college as, a, as a diploma. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not. It's not considered like a university credit. Like exactly. You know, so what not, the fuck did you just uh, spend eighty thousand dollars? It's a private school. And there's a bunch of online colleges that do the uh, same thing. Yeah. People yeah. take classes so people online. people think, like, oh, like, I got a bachelor's, but no, you really no, don't you have don't. a real bachelor's. Because you did it online, and they don't count that as a real credit. So you spent all this money, all this time studying and doing it online, and now you can't even use it. Yep. So I feel like college, for the most part, That's is a crazy. huge scam. Unless you got, like, 
you know, you're just blessed enough to be able to go to school for free and, like, take advantage of the situation, bro, do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have that opportunity, do it. But if you don't, it's fine. Don't stress it. College ain't the only way out here to fucking, you know what I'm saying, be successful. Yeah. That's true Seriously. though. College, bro. I feel like people who go to college, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, don't get me wrong. We're not shitting on college. Not but the all. thing is, when you leave college, you leave in debt. You can't even get a job in the field you're looking for because they're like, oh, you got to work for free first. You got to be an apprentice, or you got to get the experience and mm-hmm. then come back. Then, uh, to me, I think like, what the fuck was all those years in college? Wasn't that experience that I was getting? Like, what I pay all that money for? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Girl. And that that dis, that's discouraging. Like, Fuck that kills you, a lot of people's hopes. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You go to college with an expectation. You think that you're going to fuck around. And, you know what I'm saying? Graduate and go get a good job and pay this shit off in a couple of years. And it do, ends up being Wrong. the complete opposite. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? You end up going, getting out of college, going to a $10 an hour job. You can't survive and pay bills and fucking pay that student loan all at the same time without right. sinking right. you know what i'm saying it's like that's why europe has the best like schooling system yeah free education because they bro. put they put everybody in their own like like schooling like they got actual specific schools like in and actual things that they pretty much like how would you say that they put you in the in the right position basically you know, they, they put you in the you right direction. Success. Yeah, they set you up for success. You know success. what they do like, is they see what you're good at. And then they and then they, they hone in on yeah, it. And they're like, all right, yeah. this is what you're good at. You're good at sales, bro. Yeah. We're going to train you to be a great yeah. salesman. And, yeah. and we're going to put you in sales. Yeah. You, you're a good lawyer. We're going to put you in law. And you're going to be a good... Like, you want to be a real gotta, estate agent? But that's like, the thing. You got to know what you're good at and what you're not. Yeah, that's the You know what I'm saying? Thing. Too many people want to be the boss when they should be the manager. Yeah. You'd be a great manager, but you... You're not a CEO. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and then there's people that aren't good managers. They're good fucking workers. Like, yeah. And then there's, there's people a position that are good for everybody. Facts. And they need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, just be Big quiet. Facts. <laughs> nah, man. I hate That's when people. Facts, I hate though. when people that. I hate those people that don't really like, like their job, but they just want to give everybody else that attitude because they don't like their job. <laughs> it's yeah, like, bro, bro, you have to, like you're not a slave. Like you're not chained to your fucking job yeah, it's facts. yeah bro figure you this shit out quit. save some money put it aside and then start your own shit seriously but that's the thing bro like when you go to start your own business man with any business it's gonna take time and it's gonna take it's gonna take more work than what you were working at a regular job yeah, like yeah. you were working eight hours for somebody else well guess what for you to start your business you're gonna have to work 18 hours a day to start yeah. your shit yep you know that's what i'm saying you gotta want it. that's the misconception like the yeah. hunger yeah, you, you can't sit back and just relax and chill until you get to a certain level. Once you get to a level where your business is, your money's making money for you, okay, then cool. You, you could go on vacation and chill, but like, until then, bro, it's like, what's the point? What are you yeah. really celebrating? Facts. You know what I mean? That's true. Should it be celebrating every fucking weekend, popping bottles? Weekend, weekend. You know what I mean? That's that fire. It's true. It is what it is. Let I'm out. Let me tell you something, boys. I'm ripped. Nah, I'm fucking litty like a titty, boys. I'll tell you that much. Nah, but I'll tell you what, man. I'm excited for this new merchandise that's going to come out pretty fucking soon, too, man. Yeah, Yeah, facts. We're going to get some t-shirts out, man. I'm going to start giving them out to the real supporters out there. You know, even if we got to mail it out and I got to pay a little bit more. I fuck with y'all, man. We fuck with y'all. Yeah. Fucking. Boy. You know what I mean? We appreciate every single one of y'all. Nah, facts, man. Every single one. Keep. You know what I'm saying? Doing what you guys are doing and supporting, like, and sharing and all that Yo, good get stuff. In the you know what I'm saying? Get in the share. comments. and You know what I'm saying? We're, we're all going to start vlogging a little bit more, guys. We're not, you know, we're regular humans, guys. We, we're we not all too comfortable in front of the camera and all this shit. We're not used to all that extra shit. But They're regular humans. We got to like that. But <laughs> my dog's an alien over there. I'm a Navy. He's a Martian. I'm Martian. But now, nah, for real, like, we're going to start you know, getting out of our comfort zone and, like, just vlogging a little more. So, you know what I'm saying? Go down in the comments and let us know what you guys will want to see us do. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is that you, know you guys want to see us do. You know what? Even though I feel like I'm fucking weird, though, with a camera walking in Walmart. Like, hey, guys! Fact. I'm here at Walmart. Uh, I'm just here at Walmart. Be a loud as fuck! Holding the camera and people are, like, uncomfortable. Like, could you please not record next to me? Like, Fact. I'm fucking vlogging. <laughs> Hello, this is my fucking job. This is what I do every day. Facts, like, bro. I get paid from this. What yeah. do you do, Stan? 
Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing Bag my all. shit up. Why don't you and Margaret move the fuck on and let me vlog over here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Fucking motherfuckers, yeah. man. I hate Walmart too, bro. They're fucking self checkout. Yo, fuck Walmart. Walmart. They be, make, they be looking Walmart's at you. Trash, they be bro. looking at you like you fucking. You're from prison. Nah, Making sure you don't Walmart. steal anything, bro. They're like Target all the way. <laughs> One time, bro, I couldn't even find my receipt, and I fucking. They thought like I had like I stole it, and I was like, bro, like I don't have my receipt. Type. He's got like a beard. Man, a red one. I bro, mean, it I'm is Jew- kind of hard to lose your receipt in 10 steps, Ma. <laughs> I'm Jewish. I, hey, hey, listen I'm here. Jewish. Listen here. I fucking lost it. I threw it in the trash. I made him look in the trash because he wanted me to look in the trash for it. I said, first of all, I'm not going in the trash, bro. He says I lost it. I threw it you know in what, the trash. And you know what's more fucked up? It was Black Friday. There's mother people it's stealing some TVs. Black, huh? Look at that guy. There was another guy fucking walking by with a whole TV while he's trying to <laughs> check my receipt. I only bought fucking socks, underwear, and fucking... Deodorant and Fucking shit. deodorant. Fucking lube. And lube. <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> now, yeah. Walmart do be trying to check your receipt. Like, Yo, you know by law, you ain't got to stop for them. You of don't. You that's don't. your property. You don't. After yeah. you pay for it, it's your property. You ain't got to stop, bitch. Bro. Fuck you. Not because that's their policy, but guess what? Your nah, policy is not the yeah, fucking law. Yeah, guess law. what? Fact. One time I was with Ivy's brother, my wife, <coughs> and her brother, and we was walking out of Walmart, and some lady's like, sir, can I see your bag? I'm like, keep walking, too, though. And then, and then he's like, yeah. And then we just kept walking. He's like, sir. And I was like, I ain't got to stop. I seen the video on YouTube. All right, Joanne? Yeah, I saw it too. <laughs> you can't make me stop. YouTube wouldn't nah, lie. Fact. You know what? You get, paid yeah, you, never you get paid eight seventy five. You really think you're going to chase me down? And if you do, I'm going to punch you. Yo. Now nah, you're a fucking tryhard, Walmart's going to write this shit off on their taxes. And they're going to be all right. You see what I'm saying? Bro, they already have that shit covered. They know how yeah. much fucking shit is going to get stolen per yes, year. They're not bro. stupid. They're not both a billion dollar company for no reason. Bro. Yeah. But fuck them, though. You know what, man? Let me tell you something. It is what it is, Ricky. You live and learn. All right? You live and learn. That's all I got to say. Sometimes you're a piece of shit. And sometimes <laughs> some people don't change. Facts. So, if you're a piece of shit, be a piece of shit. And be proud to be a piece of shit. Nah, facts. Be you, man. Yeah. Real shit. If you're an asshole, be an asshole. Be proud of it. If you're nice, be nice and be proud of it. And if you're just like <laughs> me, be like me. Be proud of it. Fuck. Be a piece of shit. Fucking That's what I mean when I say be like me. Don't go to fucking Target. I'll tell you that. Listen, I just support a nah. Target. Don't listen to John. Nah, Don't Target, listen to John. Target. Target's expensive. I went with Jay. I spent fucking eighteen seventy five on a fucking t-shirt and some fries. It's because he was trying to oh, fucking damn, hook up with bitch, this girl that's... and her mom. <laughs> he was trying to hook up with this girl and her mom. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you know what? She was looking back doing the walk, but you know what? I got to be careful what I say. <laughs> oh my god Listen guys Now nah, fuck this yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell, tell you what you I said Nah Jay saw it Nah Jay I'll tell it. Fuck, fuck the target situation You know what I said hey hi How you doing my He name's said hey John. hi My name's John Where the fuck can I find Lou <laughs> and, like, and I'm just like Listen John Are you Are you have a fiance Does she look like Beyonce <laughs> Oh If not we ain't she did to hear it. All she that. looked like Lady Gaga in the face. Damn. But her body was like fucking Shakira. Like doggish. Damn. So I said, hell no. That's nah. a mix. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that is a mix. Looks like said, a fucking rag doll. Said, that's a fucking rat. That's a fucking hood rat. This is what you just described to me. Does she have the skinny braids too? The real Bro, skinny she ones? She even had her dimples pierced. Oh, yeah. She, oh, she takes back shots. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say nah, to that. Well, anyways, guys, we kind of running out of time here. Fuck well, I'll tell you man. what, guys. We've been back with another episode. We appreciate everybody yeah. that's been rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? Share this. Thank like it. Subscribe. It. And if you don't like it, don't come Fuck back. You. Fuck you. Fuck you. Let me get a lighter. But I'll tell you something else, Mav. It's been yours truly. Low key. John. Jake. We out this bitch. We out. We out. Boom. Hoop.